Senator Hawley. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Director Ray, thanks for being here. Uh, can I just go back to a series of questions that Senator Lee asked you? He asked you about the geolocation and metadata aspects and gathering uh, related to the gathering of metadata, that is, related to your investigation of the January 6th riot. Uh, you said you weren't familiar with the specifics. Can I just clarify your responses to him? So when you say you're not familiar, are, are you saying that you don't know whether or not the Bureau has scooped up geolocation data, metadata from cell phone t uh, records from cell phone towers? Or, or do you not know? Or are you saying that the Bureau maybe or maybe hasn't done it? Just tell, tell, me, the, tell me what you know about this. So when it comes to geolocation data specifically, again, not in a specific instance, but just even the use of geolocation data, I would not be surprised to learn, but I do not know for a fact that we were using geolocation data uh, under any situation with connection with the investigation of the 6th. But again, we do use geolocation data under specific authorities in specific instances because this is such a sprawling investigation. That would not surprise me. When it comes to metadata, uh, which is a little bit different, obviously, than geolocation data, um, I feel confident that we are using various legal authorities to look at metadata under a variety of situations. Um, but again, the specifics of when, under what circumstances, with whom, that kind of thing, I'm not in a position to testify about with the sprawl and size of the investigation and certainly not uh, in a you know, congressional hearing. What, what authorities do you have in mind? You said that you're using the relevant authorities. What, what authorities are they? Well, we have various forms of legal process we can serve on companies that will allow us to get access. And that's been done? Well, we're using a lot of legal process in connection with the investigation, so yes. But specifically, serving, serving process on companies, using, invoking your various legal powers to get da data from companies, that's been, that's been done in the case of gathering this data? In gathering metadata? I've, yeah. I've, Again, I don't know the specifics, but I feel confident that that has happened because metadata is often something that we look at. And we have a variety of legal tools that allow us to do that under certain circumstances. What about the, the cell tower data that uh, was reportedly scooped up by the Bureau on the day uh, during, in fact, while the riot was underway? What, what, what's, happened, what's happened to that data? Do you still have it? Has it been retained? Uh, do you have plans to retain it? I, again, whatever we're doing with cell phone data, I'm confident that we're doing it, you know, in conjunction with our appropriate legal tools and working well, with how, the Well, here's what I'm yeah. trying to get at, and I think it's what Senator Lee was trying to get at. How are we going to know what you are doing with it, and how are we going to evaluate the Bureau's conduct if, if, we, if we don't know what authorities you're invoking, what precisely you're doing, what you're retaining? I mean, this is, you, you said to him repeatedly you weren't familiar with the specifics. You've now said it to me. I, I don't know. I'm not sure how this committee is supposed to evaluate anything that the Bureau is doing. You're basically saying just trust us. I mean, how are we, how we going to know? Do we have to wait till the end of your investigation to find out what you've done? Well, uh, certainly I have to be careful about discussing an ongoing investigation, which I'm sure you can appreciate. Uh, but but uh, all the tools that we have uh, are done in conjunction with prosecutors and lawyers from the Justice Department. Now, if there's information we can provide you before an investigation is completed that goes through what some of the, the authorities we have, the tools we have, et cetera, we could probably provide some information like that that might be useful to you uh, to help answer the question. That would be helpful. Uh, thank you. I'll hold you to that. Let me, let me ask you about some other things that have been reported um, in the press. Particularly, there have been a series of reports that the Bureau has worked with banks in the course of the investigation into the January 6th riot and, and b the both before and after, and that some banks, in particular Bank of America, may have handed over data for 200 plus clients who may have used their credit or debit cards to make purchases in the D.C. area. Well, what do you know about this? Has Bank of America voluntarily turned over information to the Bureau about its customers? I don't know any of the specifics, so I'd have to look into that. And so has the FBI requested similar information from any other companies, to your knowledge? Again, I'm sitting here right now, I do not know the answer to that question. I do know that we work with uh, private sector partners, uh, including financial institutions, in a variety of ways uh, all the time in a variety of investigations. But exactly the specifics of, of what may or may not have happened here, uh, that I don't know sitting here as we're talking today. The, as, as I'm sure you can appreciate, my concern here is that 
12 U.S.C. 3403s prohibits financial institutions from turning over confidential client records, unless, of course, they've got reasonable suspicion that there's a crime being committed. Now, the news reports on this have indicated that, that the financial institutions were doing this in cooperation with the Bureau without any such indication of a crime. They're just turning over reams of consumer data. That obviously would be a, a major legal problem, a major legal concern. Can you try and give me some answers to these questions? I appreciate you say you don't know today. You're not aware of what's going on. But can you look into this and follow up with me on this? I'd be happy to see if there's more information we can provide you on the subject. As I said, we, we have a variety of ways in which we engage with financial institutions in particular. Uh, and as you referenced, there's a number of legal authorities that, that describe when you can and cannot do that and how that's supposed to work. So I don't want to get out, as they say, over my skis and try to characterize what may have happened in this specific, specific instance. Uh, but I'm happy to look into it and see if there's more information we can provide. What about uh, some of the technology companies, Facebook, Google, Twitter, Apple, Amazon? Has the, has the FBI had contacts with those tech platforms following the events of the 6th? Uh, we've certainly had contact with a number of the social media companies uh, in connection with the 6th. Um, so that much I know. Have, has the Bureau sought to compel any of those companies to turn over user data related to the 6th? Well, again, I, don't, I can't tell you the specifics here, but what I will tell you is that uh, we I'm, I'm feel certain that we have served legal process on those companies, uh, which we do with some frequency. Uh, and we have received information from some of those companies. And whether that's true of every single one of the companies you listed, I can't say for sure, but I, I suspect it is because we work with the social media companies quite a lot. Are you aware of any of the companies voluntarily turning over data to the Bureau in relationship to the events of the 6th? Uh, I can't. Sitting here right now, I can't say for sure. L just one more question, Mr. Chairman. Time's almost expired. Is the FBI, are you, are you currently pressuring any of these platforms, these social media platforms or tech platforms to include backdoors in their software that would help defeat end-to-end -end encryption? Are we pressuring? The are you company? encouraging? Oh, are, you, encourage. are you pushing for? Are you, uh, is well, it your desire to get such access? Is, we are not trying to get backdoors. Uh, that is, I think, a criticism that gets leveled our way by people who uh, don't understand our position often. So I appreciate the opportunity uh, to address it here. Uh, we are concerned about end-to-end -end encryption, especially default end-to-end -end encryption uh, in connection with a lot of these platforms. And we are concerned uh, that if these companies continue to move in the trajectory that they're moving in, we are going to find ourselves in a situation where no matter how bulletproof or ironclad the legal authority, no matter how compelling the facts and circumstances, no matter how horrific the crime or heartbreaking the victim, we will not be able to get access to the content that we need to keep people safe. What we have been suggesting, uh, and the cryptologists and cryptographists that I talk to say this is doable, is for the companies themselves to build in uh, a way to have legal access when confronted with a proper legal authority so that they can get access to the information and provide it in response to a warrant or a court order. We're not going to have a key. We're not asking for a back door. That's a, a myth an urban legend that has been uh, uh, directed our way. But this is a subject that I think the American people need to understand because decisions that affect the life and blood of Americans all over this country, which normally are made by our elected representatives, are in effect getting made in corporate offices in big technology companies. And different people can come down in different places on that balancing, but I would submit that's a balancing that should be made up here and not by one company based on its business model. And in the context, for example, of child exploitation, we get, and to Facebook's great credit, we get millions, millions of tips on child exploitation through NCMEC every year that help us prevent and rescue kids, hundreds of kids every year. If they move forward in the direction they're moving in, which is the direction, by the way, that Apple already went, we're going to be in a position where those tips, those leads, that content, that information will drop into the abyss. So the tips will be gone. The victims, all those kids will still be out there. The pedophiles that are uh, exploiting them, they'll still be out there. The only thing that will be different is that neither the company nor we in law enforcement will know who they are, where they are, or what they're doing. And I don't think that's a situation that we want to find ourselves in. So we would welcome the opportunity to work with the companies, perhaps 
uh, encouraged or incentivized uh, through Congress to get to a situation where we can balance strong cybersecurity, absolutely, it's a key part of our mission as well at the FBI, along with strong flesh and blood security, especially for America's children. Thank you, Senator.